Hey guys, welcome back to Voice Bootcamp. This is Faisal Khan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a logger in a duplex mode. Now, we're going to configure logger on site A and site B, and we're going to set up a duplex settings. Now, one of the first things that you want to do before you configure duplex is to make sure that you have two network card uh, interface on your server. So I have public and private. Make sure public is at the top on your adapter and binding order. And you want to go to the command prompt and ping the IP address of the progger B, the second site B. Progger B, for example. So connectivity is fine. Second, make sure you have two IP address. One is a public, one is a public, uh, private. So I'm going to try to ping the private on the other side, which is 192.68.161. And I should be able to ping. Uh, so once that is done, we're going to go to the web setup. We're going to log in as administrator. Right, so right now there is no component installed. We just have the instance added. So if you go to the component management, there's nothing installed there. When we're going to create a, a router or a logger. So before we can create a logger, we need to start creating databases. So what I want you to do is go to the UCCE tools and click on ICM DBA. That is the utility that we're going to use to create the database. So here is the ICMDBA, and as you can see, it picked up Progger A, Progger B, PG, all the servers. So under Progger A, you can right click and then create the logger database. Sorry, under the instance. Click on create, select logger A, we're going to choose enterprise as a logger type and we're going to choose a DB type site A select the hard drive space we're going to choose the space to be 1.4 gig click OK add the log file click OK and then simply click create start so while this is being done on site A, I'm going to go to site B. So this is my site B. Site B server seems to be responding a bit slow. Select the ICM DBA. So on B, do the same thing. Create but this is going to be logger B it's going if it gives you a warning that SQL server is not configured properly do you want do you wish to configure you can say yes and then click OK choose the enterprise type select the site B database space and the log file okay so both site A and site B is being uh, created uh, as we speak. So the database has been created on both site A and site B as you can see. The next step is on site A I'm going to create outbound database. That is for outbound dialer. Now we will talk about outbound dialer later. Alright, so the database, we don't need to create the outbound database on site B because site B does not support uh, outbound database. Next step, uh, the website, go back to the web setup, click on the logger and we're going to add a new logger here. So it's going to be the same instance, it's going to be the enterprise and it's going to be site A as you can see, 
we're going to choose duplex or simplex so obviously this is a duplex setup click next it's going to ask you the router private interface so the you can use ip a host name or you can use a ip address so the private interface is 168 151 for the site a and 561 for site B. Uh, logger private interface is going to be the same. Ah, wrong key, 61. It is important that those IP address are pingable and they point to the right server. Uh, the database option enable historical and data uh, replication, display, da uh, display database purge, uh, this is the outbound if you select this outbound and if the database was not created it is going to give you an error message enable syslog now as for troubleshooting I'm going to uncheck this because if I if there is an error the system will keep rebooting itself these are the predefined parameters for retention period so for the data arch uh, schedule the purging time and then click on finish so while this is being done on site A I'm gonna to go to site B going to component management going to re in go to logger add and this is for site B of course and as you can see it's already picking up at site B you cannot change that it's going to be duplex same IP address and then finally click next now where it says outbound, if I check this option, it says that outbound can only be configured on site A. Retention period, finish, and you're done. So the logger is being created on both site A and site B. Once that is completed, we will quickly test the uh, configuration. Okay, so you can see the logger A has been completed. So as logger B, going back to logger A, I will minimize. And if you click on the service, unified CCA service control, you should see the logger A service has been uh, included. However, the service itself is a stop because uh, our, by default, all the service that is created will be in a stop mode. And we will start that once we have other components running. All right, so that's pretty much it for uh, our logger lab. Uh, the next lab, we're gonna show you how to add the router.